Good afternoon, Chair Van Nuyen, Lendingham, Commissioners. Um, my name is Greg Macklin. I run a livestock breeding operation in Helvetia and manage timberlands in Helvetia and, and the Banks area of Washington County. Um, I'd like to today uh, uh, talk to you about protecting Washington County's Class 1 soils um, and with particular uh, relevance uh, to uh, Area 8B. Uh, Alvesia Area 8B soils are foundation agricultural land according to the Oregon Department of Agriculture. They've been described by the ODA as the best of the best. They have 28% Class 1 soils according to uh, USDA and NRCS. Um, they, uh, yeah, to put this in perspective, Sophie's Island, the Grand Jewel of Multnomah Ag Land, uh, has 0% Class 1. Uh, uh, they have non-irrigated Class 1 and Class 2 land that is classified as high value farmland according to ORS 215.7 uh, one b um, The USDA and NRCS uh, has uh, eight soil capability classes that describe soil's ability to uh, produce crops. Um, and uh, class one is, is the highest, class eight is the lowest. Um, it's essential to protect these class one soils. They have few limitations on productivity. Uh, they're prime agricultural land regardless of the presence of, or absence of irrigation. Um, and uh, high value soils include both class one and class two. Uh, they produce high value crops such as wheat, uh, other grain crops, uh, uh, clover, grass seed, hay, filberts, uh, regardless of whether or not the uh, irrigation is used. Uh, the NRCS data was used in the ODA report and by Clackamas and Multnomah County in studying the metro region for urban and rural reserves. The NRCS online database, uh, which is very user friendly and you can use it to uh, quickly look and easily look at areas of uh, productivity is updated frequently, most notably in 2010. Um, Washington County originally had, uh, uh, in the, use this pointer, uh, originally had four primary areas of class one soils and those are uh, denoted by the red color. Uh, one large area is applies directly into the city of Sherwood and is no longer available. Uh, another area lies under the uh, Tech District north of Hillsboro. Um, uh, another area, South Cornelius in the Blooming Fern Hill area. Uh, and uh, then uh, the largest area, the Sunset Helvetia Corridor, uh, has 57% of the remaining Class 1 soil in Washington County. That's 57% in that one district. Area 8B um, is uh, it's part of this uh, larger area and it contains 28% class 1 soils. It's part of the largest concentration, as I mentioned, uh, remaining in Washington County. And as I mentioned also, it's better than Sobeys Island. There are no class 1 soils on Sobeys Island. To put uh, uh, the pro productivity of area AB in perspective, uh, as I said, Sobeys Island has 57% class 1 plus class 2. Uh, some of the elevation quarter, 80%, very excellent. Uh, farmland, foundation farmland. The area north of Cornelius, north of Council Creek, also has 80% class one and class two. Uh, uh, lower, it has, does not have class one, but it's excellent, excellent farmland. Uh, the area of uh, 8B in particular has 87% class one plus class two, with 28% of it being uh, class one. Uh, Washington County's uh, area 8B analysis was flawed. Um, they lumped 8B uh, into a huge area of 7,000 acres. Uh, it was uh, a gerrymandered area, and uh, the sub-areas on the map here of 14, 13, 9 uh, skewed the data for area 8B downward drastically. And the reason it did is along this northeast border of area, sub-area 14, is hilly land that is much lower productivity. Um, and uh, area 8B should have been analyzed alone. Um, so the flaw uh, is that 8B's high concentration of class one soils was downgraded because of dissimilar soils in the larger area. The consequence area 8B received lower rating for rural reserves uh, as a tier three. In spite of the fact that it has low par parcelization, it has these prime one, prime class one soils and it's, it's 
subject, uh, uh, highly subject to urbanization. So those are all uh, rural factors that should have put it in a top tier. Um, the other uh, weakness in Washington County's uh, uh, methodology is that uh, they used the outdated Huddleston report. They rejected three met methodology methodologies for soil analysis, the ODA ag lands inventory, the uh, USDA NRCS soil classifications, and those are used nationally uh, with great effectiveness. Uh, uh, and uh, the, they also rejected the high value farm uh, uh, survey uh, of LCDC. Uh, they chose to use the Huddleston report, report that put a much higher inordinate weight on irrigated soil and used old data on crop production from back as far as 1976. Uh, by their own admission, Washington County stated, and it's in the Washington County record, page 662, if the Huddleston soil maps are wrong, then the productivity rating will be wrong. Uh, it would have been much better off to rely on the same process as Washington as Multnomah and Clackamas County and ODA. Also, Washington County made the wrong assumption in giving undue preferential protection to irrigated lands. And I quote again from the Washington County record, after examining various methods for analyzing farmland, water availability appears to be a significant feature with water already in short supply and projected growth for the region. Water availability is going to become more important in the future. If there are urban reserves, irrigated farmland should be considered for production where possible. But on the contrary, as we enter into an area, era of limited water resources, rapid growth of industry and, and residential use that are high uh, water intensive uses, we really ought to be looking to preserve those lands that are class one prime farmlands that can grow a, a, a good export crop without using a drop of water. In conclusion, uh, Washington County soils analysis is flawed uh, due to gerrymandering and, and use of outdated study. Uh, class one is the best soil. Uh, it should be protected in rural reserves, especially if subject to urbanization. Area 8B is 28% class one uh, and is 87% class one and class two. There isn't much of that type of land left in Oregon and the Klamath Valley of, the, of that uh, caliber. We need to save what we have for future generations, and I would closing recommend remanding Area AB for redesignation as rural reserves. Thank you.